We interrupt your regularly scheduled scrolling of your LinkedIn newsfeed to bring to you a special Mortgage Bankers Association annual convention mic'd up show. And we have a really exciting uh, panel of guests here that are doing something extremely exciting, especially to me, as we know, my passion for mobile. This is one of the most innovative mobile apps to hit the mortgage industry in a couple of years now. Um, you'll hear today why it might be ever, but at least the industry is moving forward. I spoke to a large bank last night. They were telling me, you know, it's been a couple of years now of slowdown in tech innovation and wondering what the next couple of years bring. So when you're at these events and I've been able to schedule out for my clients uh, meetings to where their schedules are are full. Um, however, those meetings are not always these next innovative pieces that are really going to raise top line revenue. And I think that's something when people say, what did you find out there at the convention? They really like to hear you say, I found ways to make you more money. And so today we're going to hear about that product. Um, and it is the ability to um, have everything inside of a mobile app so that you're able to see what that down payment power is or and you're able to do it anonymously too so the, with the data breaches going on it's a way to uh as we saw on a post the other day i i found fascinating like why everybody just has apply now it's like having a castle and the only way in is the moat but you want people in so we're going to hear how we're going to not only bring the drawbridge down but we're going to give you a, a quick 10 minutes stick around so that you're 10 minutes further in the conversation when you see Brad and Amanda out at the conference. Um, so are you guys excited to to head out there? Any preparation you have on how you're going into this for your own companies and then for this collaboration, uh, Amanda? Yeah, so very excited to be headed to NBA again. As we all know, you know, it's the biggest event of the year and everybody who's anybody is there. I'm very excited to be there representing Cypress Ascendant Services title company and also um, that we're excited to be working with Asterkey and share with lenders and bankers and brokers that are at the conference about this um, app that's being launched. And you know a thing or two about grabbing attention. Uh, you do a lot of work with the PGA Tour, so that gets people in. You do a lot of work with real estate agents. How were you able to find such a forward thinking product and be able to release it right in time for the convention? I think that was the coolest part that you and Brad were able to do. That's a great, yeah, great points there. So Cypress Ascendant, um, we are the official title insurer of the PGA Tour and the PGA Tour champions. We sponsor the annual um, The Ascendant. It's a corn fairy tour. We did it a couple months ago in Colorado. So that obviously golf always grabs everyone's attention. And we met Brad at the um, NBA conference in New Jersey a couple months ago out in Atlantic City. And we're always looking for the next innovative technology that we can bring to our realtors and to our lender partners. We want to add value to them, not just be a title company, but what helps them get more business, what helps our realtors be safer, what helps our lenders um, capture purchase business. So we were just very excited with what Brad is doing and wanted to partner together on that. Yeah, Michael Zhao always says, stay in your lane. But it makes no sense to me in this market to only have one lane. So you can have a first time home buyer app, as Brad always tells me. But one of these golfers out there, to me, being as famous as they are, would probably what would prefer to apply anonymously, be able to flex their bank account a little bit to open up their options before they begin to have those conversations versus maybe a long hand-holding process. Brad, how do you help lenders? Because we know the importance of data privacy, but I think when people come back from the, the MBA conference, they probably want at least a takeaway around this new app product. What can they tell their sales team uh, and what is your history with real estate um, give you kind of the the reason they should spend 10 minutes with you because you can give them a little bit of an advantage walking away on how to how to use this to get realtors to get different lanes. Yeah, so we're coming at data and 
making an application to a lender a little different than everyone else. We were very concerned about all the hacking that we see going on. You know, every lender is getting their, their data hacked somewhere in the process. It may not be the lender that you start with, but it could be the servicer, the title company, the investor, the tech vendor. So as we were watching these data flows, we wanted to come up with a safer way to let consumers apply for, for a loan. So we came up with this start your loan anonymously channel where a consumer can get lender ready in an encrypted setting on their phone and then they can apply apply to lender. So it's very it's very data driven, if that makes sense. Brad, what what is the feasibility that you think that lenders can pick up as a result of I mean, there's a lot of different types of software that that lenders have availability to. And even uh, with their ancillary partners, such as uh, estate planning attorneys, financial advisors, registered investment advisors, there's a lot of different apps that are out there. So how, do, how does AstroKey's product communicate so that originators can not only use it as, as a functional form of tracking finances, uh, and also that they can work collectively with their referral partners and or business partners? So the, the actual feature that we've moved to the front with, with Cypress Ascendant is this proof of funds letter. And so one of the things when we were looking at the data, I actually had a realtor, a broker come to me and was telling me they had to submit a proof of funds letter to, to the seller's broker and their um, client faxed them a, you know, a bank statement and it had like $7 million in it. And it was like a way less expensive property. And he's just telling me this story. And I thought, wow, we're doing asset verification on device anyway. Why don't we look at this initial proof of funds process, which leads to pre-approval letters and getting the consumer getting their data ready. So I said, let's look at this and make it more secure. So we kind of came up with and, and, and put in the app a way for any home buyer. Home buyer permission can be asked by a realtor to provide it can do a proof of funds letter and they don't have to fax anything or do anything. And what's even better, they can pick the amount they want. So if they wanted to do have to show 5% of the purchase price with some closing costs and they wanted to they need a $50,000 proof of funds letter, they can just verify those assets on device and then send it to the realtor, show it as a passport to get in. And we realized that that's actually a safety feature because realtors um, are having issues with safety now. And this way you get pre-qualified before they get to the door. Even if someone come in, don't let anyone in an open house. Sellers don't want anybody tramping through their house. There's threat theft of prescription drugs. I didn't know that was a big thing. So to have this kind of instant proof of funds letter that is home buyer permission, where they know that their data is getting looked at, they're providing it. It's just, it's just a game changer. And Cypress Ascendant is really into data. And how do we use data in title and share it with our lender partners and our realtor partners? So it just became a good function to kind of put title companies and lenders and realtors together through this, this one feature. So we kind of brought it front and center, beefed it, beefed it up a little bit. And uh, it's, it's really cool. And before you jump in, Mike, I want to and I'm liking this now as it's going, because the more I think about it, as I'm getting people's schedules for the MBA, I'm, I'm saying, look, I have to fill their whole schedule. Plus, they technically should be at a lot of these different breakout sessions. Plus, the MBA is trying to do a tech demo in the in the vendor hall. Plus, they should be visiting the vendor. Save them time. And that's running back and forth. If anyone's in Philadelphia and you, you, you tracked your steps, that was insane. So hopefully Denver's a little easier, but now you just get to see these two faces and you already know the three takeaways you're going to walk away with. One is there's a NAR conference coming up in Boston, first week of November. Okay, there's a takeaway. Number two, Brad has actually had an app before and sold it to every brokerage in real estate. So think of all the contacts and Rolodex he has just from the 10 minute conversation. And then he can bring over Amanda because guess what? They like to golf too. And then number three, I was saving for Mike because I know he has one right there that he was about to ask about financial planners, I think. 
Uh, absolutely. When it comes to financial advisors, registered investment advisors, um, just people who are even life insurance companies who are in that space, I think that uh, they're going to want to know how is it that they can benefit by by partnering with mortgage originators and maybe and i don't know if life insurance yet is a as far as cash value of policies is yet a part of astra key and I'm, I, don't, I don't know if it's even a plan yet but the you can add it in the app we just don't verify that number some things we verify like assets debts and income but we let you do a whole encrypted financial statement that's anonymized on your phone and there is just like in a financial statement it has cash value of whatever you have life yeah over. and uh, maybe later in the show we can talk about that, but I, I really would like to talk in the, later when we're going to talk about a little bit about cybersecurity and how secure the data is. And you know, you talk about sharing of data and and how you know is there an, an anti marketing type of piece for or or a pro marketing piece that you can that that is uh, purchased through the app either through the realtor or through the investment advisors or through even the mortgage originators. And I think that all these privacy components with the sharing component and the ability to create ease in the home buying process creates the opportunity for the consumer to have a safe, secure uh, transition from renter to buyer or from even owner to investment property, uh, investment property owner as a result of using AstroKey in, in the application. Yeah. Like and it frustrates me so bad, but you don't have to do it the way it was done before. And you don't have to have a catch all like you're crushing yourself by needing these catch all nets. You could give a specific loan officer who targets specifically what Michael Zhao said. This new unbelievable Cypress app, right? Powered by AsterKey. And let them go fish. Like the fact that everybody has to bring the same rod down to the lake is it, that's yesterday's news. The tech is too good now. We're not selling phone books and fax machines. It's time to wake up. We're putting in front of you two people. Tell us, please, what hotel lobby the the most likely to find you. And I don't mean the bar at night. I just mean during the day. People are running around. They can look, and as they're running, they can look over because. And I'll let us. I'll tell everybody what I would do. You know, you, you get in around noon, you try and get a meeting on Sunday before the football games. If you were like me, you go to all those uh, reg tech, more, you know, all those uh, res bog. You try to go to as many of those that they'll let you into. Or you can go watch a football game. Then they have the opening ceremony where Laura Escobar is going to be um, inaugurated. And it'll be a fantastic moment. If you know anybody that's getting their CMB license, reach out to them and try and be part of that. Take a picture of them and try and go to that CMB event after. And then on Monday, make sure you go to the Pack event at five o'clock. And then after that is the chairman's dinner. Message me, try and figure out where that is, but that's definitely worth going to. And then after that is an invite only to um, the open doors. Those are the MBA sponsored ones I'd like you to try and make it to. But let's face it, you're running back and forth throughout the day to the actual program breakouts. When they're doing that, where can they look over their shoulder for you? Where do you guys think you're going to be at least, uh, you know, during the day trying to bring people up and about to see these apps? So for me, it's the Hyatt right across the street. That's where I'm staying. We have a suite. We'll be hanging there a lot of the conference. So and you can DM me uh, on LinkedIn and we can we can do it very uh, ad hoc. So. And I'll be, um, you know, everywhere, of course, uh, staying at the Brown Palace Hotel. We'll be at the convention center. We'll be taking people over to the suite at the Hyatt. So if you see me or if I see you, we'll grab you. Definitely take you up to the suite at the Hyatt to just give you a live demo of this cutting edge mobile app. Say that again. Absolutely, yeah, message us on LinkedIn. And if you've made it around this long and you're an originator, this is ultimately what the Mike Duff Show is about, and you're seeing this after the MBA annual, it's your opportunity, you don't need C-level to do this, you're the one who picks this lane. You're the one who picks this highway. If you're into golf, 
If you're into real estate business, if you're into working with financial planners, if you're into getting more deals, and if you're into having new solutions, maybe you call leads right now and that new FTC rules coming out in less than 100 days, the one-on-one, -on -one, this is an opportunity to be able to get one-on-one -on -one and then get in their good graces and become part of their consumer direct outreach. So I'm excited. Thank you guys. Uh, nobody believed it was possible um, for Mike and Mike to do this in under 20 minutes, but we defied the, the, uh, the laws there. Somebody even commented on one of our pieces. Um, he could talk a dog off a meat wagon. That was a friend from high school in reference to what my dad used to say to me all the time growing up. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on. Do you guys want to give on the, on the way out, um, Amanda, Brad, uh, just a, a, a pitch about yourselves um, and what you're doing? And even Michael, maybe with your family office, you can give a quick pitch. Everybody can get in on this. Uh, appreciate everybody coming on to the Mike and Mike show. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I want to just touch on a couple of things as we as we head out here. So this, like you said, this is a really valuable tool for brokers, loan officers, it, it, it does several things for our lender partners. It allows the borrowers to provide a full financial picture to get pre-approvals on their phone. You also, as a loan officer or broker, can share this with your realtor partners to create that synergistic experience. Um, and as you mentioned before, Brad, realtor safety is at the top of everyone's minds right now. Providing them access to this app to have potential showing clients, they'll verify their identity, they'll show that proof of funds. It makes our realtors safer. It makes our sellers feel more comfortable about who they're showing their homes to. So as a loan officer, you know, broker, lender, we want to get you access to this tool. It's going to help you secure your relationships with your realtors. Um, and, and again, just a little bit about Cypress Ascendant Services. We are a full service title agency and property technology company. We have the best end-to-end -end closing solutions in the industry nationwide. Um, we're an extension of, of your clients during that home buying process. We want to give you the tools that, that you need to help you get more loans in, help your realtors get more loans, and just bring everybody together right in the consumer's hand, accessible 24-7. So thanks for having us, and we look forward to seeing you at NBA. I would say this is about Cypress Descendant. So we'll post on LinkedIn. We'll post a link so you can check out the app. You can, you can download it. You can play with it. It's... Uh, it's really cool. This will be a good tool. I think you'll see really pick up steam and it's a great way to, for loan officers to, as you said, connect with, with realtors and give them, a, give them something of value. Well, if, if you're a mortgage originator and, and you have clients right now that want to Fix, fix and flip a house or they want to get they want to get a temporary bridge loan in order to try and fix up their family property and the property doesn't maybe as an appraised right or just doesn't get the right type of financing you need that bridge type of loan to go from the money to fix the house into the agency financing or even the non-qm well we'll be able to put that together through our family office go ahead and give me a call or reach out to me via linkedin so that you can find out more about this type of bridge financing for re in the residential mortgage space and if you didn't connect the dots you can use the mobile app to show just how much money you have to qualify for these loans as i said you can use them anywhere you don't just need an apply now button thank you everybody for joining a special edition for mba annual mike up thank you for coming on the show guys Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.